Hi, I'm Yacolene Castro with the California High Speed Rail Authority. Climate change is an issue that we're seeing all over the world today. So what does that mean about the way that we plan the California High Speed Rail? We have with us today our climate analyst, Annika Ragsdale, and she looks at climate conditions and helps our team plan for the unexpected. So Annika, just to start us off, what is climate adaptation and climate resiliency? An adaptation is a response to climate change that reduces the risk or damage of a potential impact. So for example, this could be a planning decision like avoiding a hazardous area or a change in design to account for the future climate. And resilience or resiliency is the ability to successfully plan for and recover from adverse events. And these could be adverse events of any type. So it could be a storm, wildfire, heat wave, or another event driven by climate change. So Annika, what are we doing at HSR today to plan for climate change? California High Speed Rail is doing a lot to reduce the impacts of climate change by building a sustainable system that will reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And we're also planning for the impacts of climate change that are being felt now. So we recently developed a climate adaptation plan that summarizes an analysis of climate change for our staff. And we've identified adaptation responses that we've applied or could apply in the future to make our system more resilient and ready for the future. So why do you think it's so important to plan for climate change? And is this now standard for infrastructure projects? I think it's important for the authority to think about climate change because we're building a critical system for the state, which is going to serve a lot of people. And we need to make sure it's a reliable service to get riders from point A to point B. And planning for future climate projections is not always typical for infrastructure projects, though it's becoming more common. Um, it is harder for infrastructure managers who already have assets in place. And since we're building new infrastructure, we actually have this great opportunity to think ahead to what the future climate will look like and plan for that as best we can. Thanks so much, Annika. It's been great talking to you. If you want to learn more about what High Speed Rail is doing to plan for climate change, you can take a look at our 2021 sustainability report up now on our website.